If you're wondering why I'm wearing a, my coat and hoodie, it's because it's cold, so fuck you. Anyways, I'm recording this because something beautiful has happened today. I was browsing through YouTube, as I do, because I'm a lonely man. And I saw that our beloved saviour of cinema, Neil Breen, this lovely man, has announced uh, the website and trailer for his new film uh, called, uh, what was it called again? Well, we'll look at the website here. Cade the Tortured Crossing. Now, if you're not familiar with who Neil Breen is, he's a legend. He has made over five theatrical feature films. <laughs> and uh, uh, films including films, like, there was Double Down was his first one. Then there was I Am Here, dot, dot, dot. Now, then there was uh, Fateful Findings. And there was Pass Through. And there was Twisted Pair. And now we have his sixth uh, theatrical feature film. Uh, I'm not including the uh, documentary that he made, or filmmaking course that he made. Uh, his films are something to be believed. I've seen three of them so far. I've seen Double Down, although the version I saw was a little bit hokey. Some of the audio was missing, so I've sort of seen it. Uh, Fateful Findings is a masterpiece. Uh, Pass Through I saw once, so I need to watch that one again. I don't really remember much about it, other than he's fucking insane in the film. Uh, but yeah, so they're definitely something to be seen, but uh, if you want to see any of his films... Uh, you have to go to a different website for each one, and you have to pay about forty dollars, something like that, for each one. But I tell you, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. But anyways, the point is, is that he has announced his new film. It won't be out until next year because, of course, he's got to submit it to film festivals, and then we'll find out what's going on. But first, let's read the plot synopsis. An identical. AI twin brother, this is worth mentioning as well, that the character Cade was in the movie Twisted Pair. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, he was like, they were like AI, alien, human hybrid things. I, I still don't understand it. Uh, an identical AI twin brother restores an old mysterious mental asylum. Sounds noble. He takes it upon himself to mystically train the patients as warriors for humanity and justice. <laughs> yeah. Because I want all the all these uh, psychopaths and uh, you know <laughs> and uh, schizophrenics to be, you know, uh, leading the way in true human justice. <laughs> Cuz I'm I'm sure they'll know what they're doing. But uh if they're being led by this glorious man, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Hang on, let me adjust my uh, little uh, camera here. I'll just bring this down a bit. Bring it to there. There we go. Uh, this glorious man, which, by the way, I love the... Uh, it's just boxed in right there. He, he's, uh, he's cut it out quite well, actually. It's quite well done. It's just... You couldn't have put some fade lines there or something? But... Nope, there he is, just standing there, looking really fucking small <laughs> compared to the the wheelchairs there, and uh, there's a couple of dead bod dead bodies lying around. I'm assuming they're dead. Could be wrong, but anyways, I I must admit to you, I did start watching the trailer. I got about twenty seconds in, or something. I got up to a certain point, and then I was like, I need to film myself. <laughs> reacting to the rest of this. So, well, we're, we're going to take this journey together. So, uh, let's uh, watch the trailer. I might have to pause every once in a while, just in case. Because, Neil Breen, if you're watching this, just follow your dreams. Follow your dreams, mate. Because the world needs more filmmakers like you who are... And I, I'm being genuine here, by the way. The world needs more filmmakers like you who are willing to take risks and try new things. I'm being genuine about that. So, so just follow your dreams, okay? So, here we go. I'm sure he filmed on location. 
Absolutely, no question about that. Cade, The Tortured Crossing. A Neil Breen film, as if you couldn't tell. So, it's important that we, that we know that. Neil Breen Films, LLC 2020. I think together, we can make a success of this project. Why? Why is? Why was that just a fucking still image? Like nothing moved. <laughs> like while they were talking, I know. I'm. I need to just. Uh, let's just keep going. Think together, we can make a She's success talking, of this. Talking, but nothing's project. happening. But anyways, yay! They are our heroes. Okay. I we. We'll never let them down. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like sounds like maybe six or seven people are applauding them, not the This youth trafficking is disgusting. We had two more last night. Okay. Can he not afford to just film in a building? Why is he so small? Everyone is so small compared to the wheelchairs. Yeah, fuck what that the wheelchair. What's going on here? We're doing the best we can. We're trying. We're trying. That's not good enough. <laughs> yeah, listen to Neil Green. He's the arbiter of all that is good. Up in the audio, I see Neil. Uh, Wait, fuck, did he actually film on something? No, he didn't. Now, look at those lights. Wait, did he? I don't know. Why would anyone send someone to this place? I want to see where my money's been going. Oh, oh, re really? Now Please you want to know. don't let them hurt me anymore. Megan, what do you know about the patient trafficking that's going on here? What do you know about the gene editing research? You I don't must know what the know fuck something. you're talking about, Neil. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, I see he's shaved the There's beard. a huge increase uh, in the amount of kidnapping of the youths and runaways that are being used for medical testing. Uh, we'd like you to keep a lookout for any irregularities that might happen at your lab. We can make a difference with them. Nope. I guess they weren't we doing that before. Who the hell is he? Ah, fuck, he's... He's got a gold knife. Oh, oh fuck, there's ninjas! Oh, fuck, there's like five Neil Breeds. We've taken in six new patients this week. We've lost two. We can't afford to lose any. Patients are money. Wherever there's an injustice, I will be there. <laughs> that was he a Supreme Court justice? Wherever there's now? a fight, we will be there. <laughs> I will never forget. Guess there's like ten people again. And now, I guess they're in spoilers. They are coming for you, my warriors. Is this whole movie? This is what I've been preparing you for. These are warriors? Oh yeah, such noble, valiant heroes. What the fuck is going on? Cool guys don't look at explosions. Oh, oh okay, that's it. <laughs> and you know something, I will admit, I was like, at the start of it, I was kind of like, yeah, you know, this looks funny, but not that funny, but then, then it just went and just made an absolute fucking masterpiece. <laughs> oh my god, that was...
it was just it was beautiful. It was just <laughs> just let me hang on, hang on. Just let's just uh, let's just go back for a moment. Let's just let's just skim through here. So this is like one of the guys. I will say this: that beard looks a hell of a lot better in this film than it did in the last one. In the last one, it just looked so flat and lifeless, like like. I don't even know how to put it. It just looked like it was just made of... Filled with bloody glue or something. But here it actually doesn't look too bad. I could... if You know, from a distance and in certain spots... I could almost believe that that's actually a beard. Now this is comparing it to the other one. It doesn't look that bad. So I'll give him that. Now... Why is it... That this whole movie... It's all of it is done... With green screen, by the looks of things. None of it seems to have any genuine sets. It's like, why, why, why have you given up on sets, Neil? You know, like this bit right here. Like, where is it? Right at the beginning. Yeah, this whole thing here. Yeah, sure, you probably couldn't find a set that looks as lavish as that without costing you tons of money. But surely you could have rented out conference space. You could have rented it out of a fucking hotel. It can be done. What about the University of Nevada that you filmed in the last film? I'm sure they have conference rooms. You know, I'm just saying. And here, you couldn't find a set of stairs. <laughs> just... Uh, yeah, I don't know, but... Uh, you know, and... Those monitors... <laughs> God, they're fucking enormous. Also, hang on, what are they This youth trafficking moving? is disgusting. We had two more last night. Yeah, the people in the background aren't moving, it's just a still image. What the fuck is going on? In mental hospital? Okay. Uh, uh, maybe? I mean, clearly, I mean, I guess he just went on Google Image and just found an image of an abandoned... Whether it was a castle or maybe it was a mental hospital. I don't know. But he is that, and then it's like, why is, why are, <laughs> these wheelchairs are fucking enormous. And then he's just like, and I just love this. He's just like, mm-hmm, yeah, this is all shit. Fuck this perfectly good equipment. What the hell's going on here? We're doing the best we can. We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> it's like, we're trying. Did I just say that? Yeah, <laughs> we're trying. We're trying, even though clearly, like, how many people work must work here? And people are rolling about on the floor, war warping into broken wheelchairs. <laughs> and I haven't seen, I haven't seen scaling this bad since that episode of The Flash. So, so how tall is this guy? I mean, the average height of a door frame is what, like, six feet? About six foot five, something like that, the average? Something like that? And this guy is about... Oh, I mean, yeah, he's standing away from it, but still... So he must be about four foot tall. <laughs> I mean, this place is freaking enormous if these people are just... Christ almighty. And there's graffiti back there, and the paint's coming off. Like, Look, you can hate on capitalism... All you want, right? But no business would ever let it run down this bad. <laughs> Just no. And why is everybody being sent here anyways? And if these are just wards of the state? If these are all just wards of the state and shit like that, then surely the government would put more money into the... I take that back. The government doesn't put money into fucking anything. But then again, this is something that interests them. So surely they would want to know. But if this is a private thing, I'm assuming that this is privately privately funded, then once again, surely the investors would want the best quality for these things. I'm analysing this way too fucking much. And, uh, just this... Uh, it's, just, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, just look at. <laughs> Why would any?
anyone even willingly work there? Like, yeah, I'm gonna go work there. <laughs> it's like, we're doing the best we can. It's just like, so does she know that they're being exposed? <laughs> this is fucking... Oh dear. And then we got Supreme Court Justice Breen here. And then we got fucking... Just... I mean, that's the best shit I've ever seen. That is the best thing I've ever seen. Uh, just, you keep doing what you're doing, Neil. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, uh, I need to get caught up on my Neil Breen. But also, you know what would be really handy? Is if you put out DVDs of Double Down and I Am Here Now. Because you haven't had them on DVD in fucking years. And I want them. I will pay you money for them. Have a good one.